Hey, how's it going? It is all news. My name is Felix. Uh, it's very nice of you to be here watching these videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you fancy doing that, that would be absolutely fantastic. We've got some weird news, some interesting news. Uh, they're creepy, they're kooky, they're altogether spooky. It's a different film. It's Beetlejuice. Uh, more Beetlejuice 2 set items are actually being stolen. I was looking at this going, what? What is going on? What is occurring? This is from, I always like this bit where it goes red. Uh, this is from Giant Freaking Robot. Uh, I like these people. Uh, Vermont authorities say more items from the East Corinth set of Beetlejuice 2 have been stolen. Uh, some letters, reports. According to local police, six windows uh, from the deconstructed Beetlejuice house, which were going to be donated to the Northeast Slopes, don't know what that means, were taken from their temporary storage space at the local community ski area. So someone's got some windows. Uh, and that's nice. They probably needed some windows. Uh, this recent theft adds to a list of other stolen items from the Beetlejuice 2 set earlier this month. On July 14th, movie security guards reported that an individual in a pickup truck took a large lamppost with a distinctive pumpkin decoration. Right. Additionally, between July 13th and 17th, a 150-pound abstract art statue from the vicinity of the cemetery also disappeared. I think... Uh, we all remember this statue, don't we? Where it swung down. It's meant to be uh, her, Delia Dietz. I think she made the statue. Uh, I think that's if I remember the film. And it swung down and trapped her uh, behind. Well, someone's stolen this statue is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm like, why? I think it's pretty cool, actually. Uh, not stealing things, but I think the statue is uh, pretty cool because it's hideous. And uh, that I like. The individuals responsible for the theft arrived at the lamppost location in an older model GMC pickup truck shortly after midnight on July 14th. They proceeded to dismantle the base of the statue and loaded it onto the vehicle. Right, three days later, the thieves returned to steal the statue itself. So they steal the base and not the statue somehow. No one notices anything. Three days later, they come back and steal the statue. I'm, I'm saying someone's asleep at the wheel here. Uh, I don't mean the driver of the GMC pickup truck. I mean someone's uh, phoning it in. Uh, I think it's this uh, writer's strike has led to this uh, closure and I don't think anyone's uh, on duty. They're all just, uh, I don't know what they're doing. They're not doing what they're meant to be doing, that's for sure. No arrests have been made in connection with these incidents. Yeah, you do surprise me. Yeah, you do surprise me. We were just too, has been in development for several years. Yes, several. I can't even remember how long it is since we were just one. But proper progress on the project only began in 23. Michael Keaton, legend, who reprises his role. Fantastic as the titular character in the film, said he's been discussing the sequel for with director Tim Burton for years. At the time, the pair decided for the follow-up to be successful, it had to capture the essence of the original movie. I heard it was going to be set in Hawaii, and that made me laugh. A Beetlejuice in Hawaii with uh, all goths and pineapples. I thought that was brilliant, uh, but also stupid. Uh, speaking to Empire, Keaton said they'd managed to achieve just that with Beetlejuice 2. Tim and I were talking about it years and years ago, and we both agreed if it happens, it has to be done. As close to the way we made it the first time, he told the publication, making stuff up, making stuff happen, improvising and riffing. Yeah, that's where it comes from. Although sometimes improvising and riffing uh, can go horribly wrong. I'm looking at you, Ghostbusters 2016. It's the most fun I've had working on a movie in I can't tell you how long Keaton added. He's a legend there. Is. Uh, the actor's portrayal of Beetlejuice is widely regarded as one of his most epic performances in the history of cinema. His energetic and unpredictable portrayal of the character made him hilariously entertaining, eerily disturbing. So it's not surprising that the role wasn't recast for Beetlejuice 2. Indeed so. Uh, so that's, that's legendary. Uh, Jenny, Jenna Ortega, yeah, she's also uh, in the actual film, uh, recently earned praise for her role in Wednesday on Netflix, has been cast as Lydia's daughter, although the character's name, the character's name remains unknown. Uh, William Defoe joins as law enforcement officer as well with Monica Bellucci taking on the role of Beetlejuice's wife. Uh, can you imagine being married to that guy? I mean, whew, uh, that's what I'm saying there. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at this stuff. And what is occurring? So, uh, oh yeah, this is quite interesting. This is from uh, from Twitter. If I can open this into a large. And uh, we've got Jenna Ortega filming Beetlejuice 2. And this person's saying they really had a front row seat. I think they're talking about these, these people here. She's rocking the old uh, tie-dye the old spiral tie-dye, uh, but I think she could try harder and get a better tie-dye. I've seen some crazy tie-dyes. Sorry, I'm going off topic there. We've got Jenny Ortega, Jenna Ortega, 
and they're tracking along with a bike, an electric bike with a camera on the back. And uh, they're tracking along. And he's like, hey, how you doing? And uh, how's things? And they're tracking along. In the background, you've got this fire department and you've got this rewind coffee place. Oh, this is all looking very interesting uh, for Beetlejuice 2. I wonder why they went with an electric bicycle, not a car. Maybe it's quieter, but they can modify the sound afterwards anyway. Um, maybe, maybe they wouldn't have to modify the sound if they just used the bike. Um, maybe, maybe it's smoother. I don't know. I do not know. I like it though. Probably it's a fully equipped sort of electric bike. Uh, it shows you how filming is done. It's quite interesting. Interesting world uh, of filming. Uh, what else is going? I was looking at this. This is a uh, Blood, uh, bloody disgusting. It says bl blood, yeah, bloody disgusting. This is a really difficult font to read. Beetlejuice 2. We visited the East Corinth, Vermont, yeah, uh, filming location of Tim Burton's sequel. Imagine living here. Uh, no thanks. In 1988, Tim Burton turned the quiet village of East Corinth, Vermont into Winter River, Connecticut, for Beetlejuice. Uh, 35 years later, 35 years, the filmmaker returned for Beetlejuice 2, with the majority of filming taking place in London. Yeah, I was so close to getting a part as an extra in that, and it fell through at the last minute. I was so disappointed. I wanted to be there. I was like, oh, come on. Come on. Um, yeah, that was disappointing. I am uh, possibly getting a role as an extra in, um, I think it's some sort of spin-off of Game of Thrones as some sort of uh, army officer. I don't know whether that's going to come off or not. Uh, I try all these crazy things. The exteriors of the original filming locations were recreated in East Corinth, for two days of on-location shooting after it wrapped, fans, myself included, he says, flocked to the quaint town to experience Winter River in person. So, uh, yeah, they rebuilt it for only two days, and then everyone stole everything, it seems. <laughs> but I originally chose these Corinth after stumbling on postcards featuring scenic photos of the area while location scouting for the film in New England. According to locals, the studio wanted him to recreate the necessary locations on a soundstage. Yeah, it's never good. Uh, for Beetlejuice 2, but Burton said no, and thank you, sir. We're going to the real deal. Uh, town hasn't changed much over the years, but the production experience certainly has. While those who are around for the original shooting recall the cast and crew freely interacting with the locals, news of the sequel spread fast on social media, resulting in an onslaught of tourists hoping for a glimpse of Hollywood, and then they stole loads of stuff. The production used the fake working title Blue Hawaii. Ah, yes, yes, see? Perhaps a nod to the scrapped. 90s sequel Beetlejuice Goes Hawaiian. <laughs> Brilliant. As well as Star Wars Return of the Jedi's uh, Blue Harvest. I don't know about that. Uh, Star Wars is shocking these days. But Blue Hawaii was, uh, yeah, Beetlejuice Goes Hawaiian. I like the, uh, the whole concept. Uh, hula skirts and, and goths. Uh, Burton was joined by Catherine O'Hara, Winona Ryder, Jenna Ortega, and some various other people. Uh, we're looking around the actual location. You can see various places have changed. Uh, they're saying uh, Winter Round, River Glamp Ground uh, worked as an off as an out of uh, hours extra. He said it was a great opportunity. Uh, they changed the name of the hardware shop and uh, it became the Rewind Coffee Roasters. So this is actually a hardware shop in reality. Uh, <laughs> and you can get tea, coffee, smoothies and frulacto vegan yogurt. Gross. Pammy's uh, Pet. What the hell is that? Pammy's Pet Parlor, uh, so that assonance, has replaced old Bill's Barber Shop next door. Uh, we have no photo of that, sadly. Uh, the Fire Department Church and Jane's Butterfield's Real Estate and Travel Agency remain in the area with the addition of Winter River Vintage. We've got all Winter River Vintage right here, which is lovely. And uh, what else have we got? Miss Shannon's School for Girls, founded 1890. Uh, well, there's, there's a place for you. Uh, the <laughs> Oh, they, they, they have a lot of these uh, barn bridge things. Don't understand why, uh, but they've got a lot of historical significance, as I understand. They're like listed buildings and historical buildings. And uh, yeah, they're very cool. All the beam work, uh, you got to love it. Got to love it. Uh, what else is uh, it's the old spooky tree? Spooky, spooky tree house. Uh, look at that thing. It looks like bonsai, but big. Uh, bonsai, but big would just be a normal tree, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would. Oh, good random today. Uh, welcome to Winter River. Slow down to 15 miles. Well, it's like a counter sort of productive message, isn't it? It's like, welcome, slow down. 
um, Rewind Coffee. I don't know what this photo is. I think maybe he's, this is some uh, tattoo that's 35 years old and it's faded and uh, it's gone right wonky donkey. And I, is, he, is he saying that this is this or that's that? Because it doesn't look like it to me. Uh, but obviously something is being uh, stated. We'll never know. We will never know. Uh, but this is Rewind Coffee Roasters and this is Winter River Fire Department. Uh, I bet they're not busy ever. There's some punk pin, pumpkins. Uh, get, they've probably not got stolen these days. Jane Butterfield's Real Estate Travel Agency Antiques, Antiques Cards and Gifts. That's a whole selection of stuff, isn't it? Real Estate Travel Agency Antiques Cards Gifts. What, fish and Chips. Pies and Beans. <laughs> Pammy's Pet Parlour. Assonance. Uh, dog Groovers and Pet Emporium. Happy Halloween. Is it Halloween everywhere all the time in this world? Grooming, pumpkins. Okay, yeah, I can see the vibe. Clearance, 13 foot 6. Okay, I believe you. Speed limit, 15. All right. And more pumpkins. Mm, fire hazards. Enter for £2. Sorry, $2. Fire hazard. Uh, really old steel frame bicycle. Uh, looks like a single buy. I'd say 7 speed. Yeah, steel frame. It's a step over. Um, uh, it's got reflectors on it. Don't like it. Okay, school bus. Uh, pumpkin, not a real one. It's got stickers all over it. Yeesh, creepy looking place. Uh, it's covered in black cloth as well. Wow, okay. That's double creepy, that is. Come back again soon. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks, but no. Uh, so there you go. That's the uh, location. I also get some quotes as well. These are some cast members. Uh, the legendary Michael Keaton is Winona Ryder, Gina Davis. Uh, this is uh, Delia Dietz. She made the statue that got uh, half-inched. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, Otho, remember him? And Juno. Oh, yeah. Uh, good times indeed. Good times indeed. So that was uh, that was my little uh, walk down memory lane. Hopefully Beetlejuice 2 is coming out, I think, 2024, it was saying. Um, sometime I'm expecting in the autumn 2024. Yeah, look at that thing. That got stolen by Vermont State Police. Uh, they said, we tried saying the name of this stolen statue three times, but it didn't come back. We're investigating the theft of this £150 sculpture. £150? Um, well, it's certainly not bronze. Uh, £150. That's going to be foam, isn't it? Uh, foam and wire. Uh, a little sculpture with the Beetlejuice 2 set in East Corinth, along with a lamppost topped with a pumpkin decoration. So if you have got any information, make sure you phone this number. Uh, to the Vermont State Police and uh, and, <laughs> and turn yourselves in. Turn yourselves in. Uh, shocking behaviour. Uh, so yeah, people have been stealing things. Oh, that was a great scene. Sheik, sheik, sheik. Fantastic. Sheik, goodbye, Elaine. And uh, yeah, giant freaking robots. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, are you going to go and watch Beetlejuice 2? Yes, you are. Uh, yes, you are, because it's great. And um, I think that's about everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I think that's about everything. I will see you guys later.